What makes track cycling so special? I think it's just the buzz and like the feel good that you go fast. Finucane decides to make a move. There is that element of surprise. Look at this. For sprinters especially, it's like zero to 100. She's got just over a lap to go here and Stadico has got a lot of work to do. Giving everything for, yeah, 12 seconds. The roof's about to be blown off in London. Emma Finucane. Pushing your body to that extent and doing it with your two legs. Into the final straight now. Fanuka made the big move. She was flying. The UCI Track Champions League is an annual track cycling event that takes place in velodromes across Europe. Riders score points across each round by competing as individuals, either in the sprint or endurance classification. The higher you place, the more points you win. The sprint classification includes a knockout sprint event as well as a Kirin. The endurance classification features a scratch race as well as an elimination race. The league leader rides in a unique turquoise skin suit, whilst other riders wear stylized national jerseys. The rider with the most points after all five rounds wins the UCI Track Champions League trophy. My name is Emma Finucan. I'm from a small town in Carmarthen. I'm. Well, I'll start again. My name's Emma Finucan, I'm from a small town in Wales called Carmarthen and I'm 19 years old. I started cycling when I was 8 years old. I moved on to track when I was 10 years old in my local Belgium in Newport. Yeah, kind of just started riding and then as I started riding more every week I really enjoyed like the speed and how different it was to everything else I've ever done. I think when my coach said, oh you should give it a go, they were like, being the parents that they are, they're like, yeah, like, we'll take you to Newport, which is an hour and a half away, so it is quite a drive. And as we started, like, racing and getting better, they were like, okay, like, we kind of, like, this is maybe part of what me and my sister would do. So I started the year, did nationals, we became national champs with Lori and Rian, which was really special. And then kind of progressed quite quickly on from there. I did my first Nations Cup in April, I want to say, in Glasgow. And we got bronze. Commons was insane. Like, it was really unexpected. The two bronze medals that I came away with, I couldn't believe it. Then Euros, unfortunately, that didn't end well. Yeah, it happened and that put me back a little bit. But then the prep for Worlds, I kind of gave everything into that. And then to come away with the bronze medal was insane. Like, even the performance, I think, like the time like we laid, um, all three of us individually and as a team was um, amazing. It's really exciting for the future. The crowd was insane in Palmer actually, it was pretty cool. That's where I kind of got like the feel for like the light shows and like the media and how fast paced it is. So yeah, that kind of like got me on my feet, except my crank fell off, but we didn't talk about that. <laughs> so that kind of set me back a little bit, but that's okay. That pretty much your first round, like, but yeah, now, now I'm last. <laughs> How long is it? Hey guys! Uh, well, we are doing a vlog. We're getting. We are vloggers now. We are. Anyone else in Berlin? So I hadn't been to Berlin before. Yeah, and I enjoyed the racing there. I feel like the Germans, they do like, like the crowds are quite cool there. Hello, welcome to our bunny. Race day! The slow started. What are you most looking forward to tonight? Um, the Kieran and getting through two races because I can't fell off last week. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited to just get stuck in. Um, this track is really nice, so I'm excited to ride that. And yeah, the crowd looks amazing, so it should be good. I definitely like learnt a lot in Berlin, like the racing. I need to where I need to find my confidence and be like just try new things because otherwise, if I'm sitting at the back. I'll just finish there and I kind of don't want to waste the opportunity that I'm getting. I did do very well. <laughs> we move, we move. This is my favourite about the drone. Is it yours? Um, I think so, yeah. Probably my best memories and results here, so. so. Should be good. Paris, I love that track. That's one of my favourite tracks to race on. I think obviously we did well there, but I really like the atmosphere and where it is and how like how it feels. So it was definitely really nice to be back there. Hey guys, Josh. welcome back to, to the channel. The Paris edition of the Union Cyclist International Track Champions League. Yeah, it's where everything's in one. Pardon? Everything's on one, but I guess this segment of the video will yeah, be we Paris can, we specific. We cut it into yes. pieces. Uh huh. 
Yeah. I like this GoPro because you can see yourself on this side of it. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's good for the selfies. Oh. Like we do other things like TikToks and like interviews just to like help people understand and to get young people into the sport. Whereas at a World Champs, you wouldn't necessarily do that. You more focus on the racing. So here's a sneak peek of some of the guys filming a TikTok for Eurosport on the track. Another great Hollywood. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You want to shout, shout anyone out? Nope. I do not know how to use this camera. It is more relaxed and people do speak more and like have more fun. So it is nice just getting to know people and making new friends. Oh, you're vlogging again. I'm vlogging. Hey, Mark. You're right. How are we? Good, how are you? Good. How are you, Ollie? Good? Yeah, I'm good. Can we, should we listen to Ollie's ailment of the week? There's always something up with this guy. It's off, you know I've been ill. <laughs> <laughs> So how are you feeling? I'm excited. I love this track, so yeah, it'd be fun. Good man. What do you say? Are you excited? Are you even interviewing? Okay. No, no. no I don't need no interview. No, 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 I, I, I don't speak English. Yeah, you do. I don't speak English. Great content. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great content for British Cycling. Cut. Yeah, I tried new things there and I feel like that set me up nicely for London now because I feel more confident and I feel like I know what I'm doing. I found my feet. What was that you just said? Not in a good way. That was pretty hard. That gear's massive. In Emma's words, I'm... We're going to the track. We're off to the track. How are you guys feeling? Excited? Get the welcome in. Lee Valley Vellum Park. One day I have my... A picture of me up there. For rounds four and five in London, I'm really looking forward to the crowd because I know it's sold out on Saturday. Oh. What's the main aim of tonight? Get small points, not nice. last. Yeah, just enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, have fun. I feel like it's quite like a dome. Like it's when it's full with the crowd, it's literally like lift. There's an opportunity now for Finucan to try and challenge her. Mitchell is going to need to hold the pace here. You can hear the crowd getting excited as Finucan gets closer. But it looks as though Mitchell knows exactly what she's doing. No doubt at all. outside and I kind of left it too late to go around but I'm learning I feel like tomorrow I'm just going to try something new tomorrow I feel like I've got nothing to lose it's the final round but no it's been amazing the crowd has been like insane they reached out my name tomorrow is sold out so it should be insane and my family are coming so I'm really excited to see them but yeah it'll be good I think I do have a game plan for rounds four and five I'm going to try and go so then maybe not from the gun, maybe from the gun, and try and just go for a long, like just commit like to everything and just if I if I blow up, I blow up. Track of cycling, baby. Let's go. Should be a good night, the crowd's great, my family are here, so yeah, I'm really excited. As I was growing up, they obviously helped me a lot in track centre with my gears and some things I didn't understand, so they'd always be there supporting me. They were just really proud of me, they were like, oh, you've done really well. They know how hard like it's been during this races, because obviously you're racing world champions, Olympic champions, so yeah, they're just really proud of me and it's really nice to see them as soon as I come up. So I put on a smaller gear and I'm just gonna go, if either from the line, or if it's slow, um, it is like half lap, but pretty early on, and then just give it like literally everything. And if it pays off, it pays off. If it doesn't, I've had fun, so why not? 
I really enjoy competitions and being in that environment where you're so under pressure, it's so overwhelming, but you've got to perform. Finucane decides to make a move. There is that element of surprise. Look at this. I think that drives me every day to just be better. And my goal, like I do want to go to the Olympic Games and that will be a dream of mine since I was a little girl. She's got just over a lap to go here and Stadikov has got a lot of work to do. My next goals would be the Nations Cups coming up early next year and then the ultimate goal is the home world. Listen to this! The roof about to be blown off in London, Emma Fanukin. I'd really love to compete there, like be at home and competing for a world champs. That's what I'm training for right now.